oh my gosh, a tsunami is coming? Yeah. This is the perfect time to start. You could die. No, that just adds the extra thrill. We need to get in the car and drive away fast. We won't be fast enough. No, I drive like Lightning McQueen down those highways. That tsunami will never catch us. Come on, we have to evacuate. We just got to the beach. Plus, I really need a tan. We need to go right now. Ugh, y'all just go. I'll stay here and play in the sand and wait for the tsunami to just pass. The only thing that will be passing is your soul when it passes away. Oh. I think a tsunami's coming. How did you know? Was it the 100 foot tall wave right in front of us? Yeah. Wait, why aren't you evacuating? I've accepted my fate, so I'm just gonna stand here and wait for it to come. One hour later. Where am I? Wait, does that sign say Japan? I'm from California! Did I really get carried across the Pacific Ocean? There is a whole boat on top of our house. How does that even happen? Oh my gosh, the tsunami just wiped out the whole town. Oh, actually, I see Walmart. Walmart's still open, y'all. Um, does anyone have a boat or something? Because I'm a little stuck here. Hi, is your name Cheryl? Yes. Great. So I just want to let you know that that credit card that you gave us has no money on it whatsoever. So I suggest that since you're too broke to afford McDonald's, maybe you and your 2001 Nissan should drive over to Wendy's instead and see if you can afford them. That is not how we talk to customers. What? I'm telling the truth. So basically, Brian told her. He was like, I don't want to talk to her anymore. Excuse me. I would like to make an order if you would stop talking. And I want to be a millionaire and not have to work at McDonald's to make a living. But I guess we just don't get everything <gasps> that we want, do we? I am reporting you to your manager. Can you clean up the throw up that's on the floor? But it is not just on the floor. I mean, it is everywhere. It is on the ceiling. I mean, who did this? I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. You did this? You're like a five-year-old kid. I mean, I'm going to have to put caution symbols around the whole restaurant. I mean, we might just need to close down early. You need to go into the bathroom and just clean yourself out. Actually, it looks like you just cleaned yourself out around the whole restaurant. Watch your mouth. We did not talk to customers like what? that. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Y'all, this shop is just so easy. Did you just drop the chicken nuggets? Well, it's okay. I'll just put them back in the tray. No, that's so unsanitary. Okay, who really cares? They're not gonna see. They could die of food poisoning. Hi, I'm the manager of this McDonald's establishment, and basically what I want to tell you is, um, you're fired for obvious reasons. Fired? No, I quit. That's not how it works. Well, that's how we're gonna make it work. I'm fired? No, the only thing that's giving fire tonight is this building. Is that a threat? No, it's a promise. Okay, I'm fired? Great. Can I go now? Wait, you're not upset? No, I'm just gonna go work at Chick-fil-A across the street. But I've never been fired before. Well, there's the first time for everything. The disrespect! What in your right mind made you want to burn down a whole neighborhood? Well, I didn't mean to burn down the whole neighborhood. I was just trying to have a fire in my backyard. And then the backyard caught on fire. And then my house caught on fire. And then 10 seconds later, the whole neighborhood was on fire. What made you want to poison a whole restaurant full of people? Well, I didn't mean to poison them. We were just running out of drinks because we were super busy. And so I was just like, hmm, why don't I serve them bleach? But apparently bleach is poisonous. Did you steal $20 million from the bank? Well, I prefer the term borrowed. Well, this money that you've borrowed is now missing. Well, I left it all in my car, right? And then someone stole my car. So I actually don't know where it is. Well, you're going to go to jail until you figure out where it is. What? Why did you steal a whole car? Because I saw $20 million in the back seat. Of course I was going to steal the car. Officer, where are we going? To prison where you belong. What? Mr. Officer, sir, I have a complaint to make. What is it? The food here tastes like it came out of a dumpster, and this bed is harder than Patrick's Rock from Spongebob. Well, this isn't a five-star hotel. Well, please, I could have told you that. Everybody listen up. Now that I am in this prison, y'all will all listen to me. Anyone have a problem with that? Yeah, I do. Well, let's rumble. Let's rumble right now. Get me out of here, please. I don't belong here. <laughs> Get me out. I am not using that toilet. I am not using that toilet. I will hold it in if I have to till I get out of this prison. Where am I? Oh my goodness, why am I in this nasty van? It is not nasty. Yes, it is. If Dollar General had a van, it would be this van. I mean, this van doesn't just need a renovation. It needs a revolution. You said there was candy, but I don't see any candy there in here. There isn't any in here because you're getting kidnapped. If you don't show me a bag of candy within the next five minutes, you're the one that's going to get kidnapped. Can you please let me go? Oh my gosh, you're getting kidnapped. I'm not even a kid. 
Oh my goodness, there's like a whole bed back here. Do you live in this van? No. Then what's the bed for? It's for you. Oh no, I was thinking more like a five-star hotel. Someone let me out, please. Where are we? Um, my house. No, this is not a house. This is a nuclear bomb site. Ooh, this place is nice, muy bien. You know, forget about what I said earlier about the whole, oh my goodness, let me go, I'm gonna call 911. I'll just stay here with you. This place looks like a prison. Wait, have you ever been to prison before? Uh, yeah, 14 times. 14 times? How do you even do that? Um, who are you calling? Oh, I'm calling Uber to see if they can go pick us up some food. What? Yeah, I'm thinking Chick-fil-A or what about McDonald's? Are you not scared? No, I am not scared. I am hungry. Why do they always name these hurricanes the most terrible names? Like this one's named Hurricane Bessie. I am not about to die to some Hurricane Bessie. Do y'all still think McDonald's is open? Because this hurricane is making me very much hungry. Why does it have to be windy and raining? I mean, can the weather just pick a struggle? A hurricane's coming? Okay, let me get my school book bag and I'm just gonna lay it in the middle of our yard. Please come flood it. Please come flood it. Hey, how are y'all doing? Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just popping through. Uh, does anyone have a boat that I could use because I really need to get to work and my car is, um, under the water. Where do you work at that's still open? Um, Walmart never closes. Oh my gosh, my house is like the only one that made it. I mean, I never did like my neighbors. My house is a mess. My upstairs bathroom is in my downstairs living room. You always told me how you said our third floor was too small, but now we don't have a third floor. It's in our neighbor's yard. Where am I? What in the trailer park trash is this place? This van looks like it's getting renovated by Pennywise the Clown. You said there was candy. Where is the candy? There is none. Okay, well, do you have free Wi-Fi? No, you are getting kidnapped. That is so boring. Please let me go. I was just looking for my Amazon package. I thought it was in this van, but I was wrong. Hey, Mr. Psychopath, sir. Can we please pull through McDonald's? I am starving. Are you really not scared? No, this is like the fourth time this has happened to me. Wait, really? Yeah, I have really bad luck. A few moments later. Ooh, I cannot see a thing. Someone find a light switch. Ooh, this is nice. Forget when I said, ooh, take me home. I'll stay here. Y'all, it is so cold in here. It's like the perfect temperature for a nap. I mean, I would lay down, but it looks like there's 17 different diseases on this floor. Have you ever heard of a mop? This place is literally so moldy. I mean, if the kidnapper doesn't kill me, the lung cancer that I'm gonna get definitely will. Hi, is this Papa John's? It sure is. Great, I would like to place an order for a cheese pizza too. Hey, um, what's the address? Uh, Winster Road. Okay, a cheese pizza to Winster Road. Is that it? It sure is. Wait, do you want anything? No. Okay, yep, yeah, that's all. Hey, Miss Flight Attendant Lady. Do you have any pretzels? The plane is crashing. Oh, so is that a no for the pretzels? Remain calm, everyone remain calm. G guys, guys, calm down, we need to stay calm. The plane is going down. And what would you like me to do about that? Would you like me to go up into the cockpit and fly the plane myself? Do I look like a pilot? Y'all, I am so dizzy, I think I'm about to pass out. Someone passed me the oxygen mask. The plane, yeah! the plane's going down. Oh, wow. New York City has gotten so much trash here since the last time I was here. There is no cell service out here. Hold on. Hello? Can anyone hear me? That is so unfortunate. Okay, so um, this was my last straw. <laughs> I've had it. So I'm just going to go sit in that cave over there and just cry. Just simply cry. Okay, so we like need water, shelter. Oh, and a fire. I don't know how to build a fire. I was hoping one of y'all did. Y'all, the house is on fire. What happened? I left a Pop-Tart in the microwave with the wrapper still on it. You did that on purpose. Shh, don't tell anyone. The house is on fire? Okay, let me get my homework out. I'm gonna set it right on top of the fire. No more homework for me. Get up. What? The house is on fire. What? The house is on fire. Oh my goodness, the house is on fire. I just said that. Okay, everyone, what's the first thing that you do in a fire? I don't know, what? You have to stop, drop, and roll. Uh, y'all, I think they just passed out. I heard someone called for a fire truck. I can't get out. Someone help me. Just jump. I am not jumping. 
Did you grab all of your belongings? <laughs> mm-hmm. I grabbed my money. Um, I grabbed some food, some clothes. <gasps> my kids! Do y'all think insurance will cover this? No? Okay. My house looks like a toasted marshmallow. Time to marry a millionaire. Um, why am I tied to this pole? So you won't escape? Oh, so you like really want me. That's fan behavior. And I told Vanessa not to go tell Kenneth, but what did she do? She went and told Kenneth and I'm like, Vanessa, calm down. He literally looks like Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. Are you really not scared? No, now pay attention and listen to the story. I'm trapped in a basement. Um, why are we singing? If I ever escape from here and Netflix wants to make a documentary, I want it to be a musical. Look, I really have to go to the bathroom and I am not about to poop on this floor because what am I not? A dog. So is there like a bathroom somewhere I can use? Um, you can just hold it in. Hold it in? Hold it in? No, I'll give you something to hold in. Okay, so let's play rock, paper, scissors and if I win, we get to go to McDonald's, okay? Rock, paper, scissors. I won! Look, I have a question. Are you damaged? What do you mean? Like, is your soul a little cracked? Were you the silent kid that sat in the back of the classroom with a hoodie on? Yes, I actually mm, was. That makes so much sense. I'm so sorry for you. I'm breaking up with you. Is it because I'm not pretty enough? Actually, don't answer that because no one is prettier than me. Are you sure about that? What, you disagree? I mean, are you Helen Keller? Are you blind? <laughs> Anyone could see that. <laughs> I have something to tell you. What is it? I'm breaking up I'm with breaking you. up with you. I was just about to do that. No, no. Nobody breaks up with me. I had to say it first. I'm not about to get dumped by you. I've been thinking about something. Yeah, what is it? I think we should break up. You're breaking up with me on a plane? Yeah, what about it? I can't even get up and dramatically walk away. Like, you didn't even want to wait till the plane landed? I mean, are you stupid? We should break up. Oh, um, how about we just play one more game before we break up? Sure, what's the game? It's called Hold Your Breath Under the Water As Long As You Can. You go first. I'm breaking up with you. Let me ask you something. Do you like being alive? Like, does it make you happy that you're not dead? Why would you ask that? Because I am driving a car right now that you are riding in, so I have full control on whether you live or die. What are you gonna do, drive off the road? I will, I will drive off the road. Do you want me to? No, no. <sighs> Wake up. Wake up. What? Is the house on fire? No. Is the tsunami coming? No. Is the tornado coming? No, I'm breaking up with you. So you woke me up just to break up with me? Yeah, what about it? You know what? I don't need you because any person that I'm in a relationship would know never to wake me up, okay? Just go pack your bags and leave. Why are we even having this debate? No one wants food that's been soaked in grease for longer than they've probably been alive. Please, your so-called chicken sandwich is just a piece of cardboard soaked in pickle juice and then slapped on a bun. When they see us, they're like, oh my goodness, this is luxury. But when they see you, they're like, when did I take a wrong turn and end up in the Dollar General? You're just mad because I'm open for seven days a week and you can barely stay open for six. You know what can barely stay open? That ice cream machine in the back of your stores. Why don't we try fixing that before coming for me? You know, I think it's funny how all of your employees say, my pleasure, but it would really be a pleasure if they actually made some good food. Okay, so let me wrap this up. If I walk into your restaurant, I will probably die within the next two to three minutes from whatever lung cancer I get. And if I eat your food, whoo, I'm probably gonna die too from that rat poison that you put in it. Y'all are all lying because I am obviously the best. Why are you even called Burger King? Is it because you're the king of giving food poisoning? McDonald's, that was the worst joke I've ever heard in my life. I mean, you can't even make food and you can't even make a funny joke. I mean, what can you do? Oh, right, nothing. Come on in. Aww, thank you for inviting me. This place is just so nice. Was that a gunshot? I think I left my phone at home. Let me go get it. Brian, start the car right now. <laughs> We're getting out of here. They weren't supposed to kill him yet. They were supposed to wait till later. What did you just say? Oh, um, I meant... Oh my goodness, was that a gunshot? That is so shocking. Mm, this brownie is so good. Did you hear that? Did I hear what? The gunshot. Oh, um, no, I was too busy focused on these brownies. <laughs> Run! Oh, they missed me. I'm over here. Um, where are we going? The police department because you're getting questioned. Oh, that is unfortunate. What is with this bright light? Can we turn it down? No. Okay, whatever. What's your question? Are you the murderer? Um, that's a tough question. It was not me. You have a gun in your hand. No, I don't. Yes, you do. 
Well, it's a water gun. What about the blood in your shirt? Um, Kool-Aid. I promise it's not me, okay? I don't want to go to jail. You went to the bathroom right after the victim was shot. What about it? That doesn't seem suspicious. Well, the gunshot really scared me and it made me have to poop. It seriously smells like rat pee in here. I mean, where did you find this van? Behind the Dollar General? Yeah, maybe. Well, the only thing that could clean this is Mr. Clean himself. Um, Mr. Ice Cream Star, there is no ice cream back here. No, you're getting kidnapped. So does that mean there isn't any ice cream? Yes. But you said there was ice cream. Um, I was lying. Well, is there ice cream? Be quiet. Okay. Why is there so much wood back here? What did you do? Rob the Home Depot before you kidnapped me? Yeah, how did you know? It is so quiet. Can we play some music? No. Why? Because you're getting kidnapped. Okay, so does that mean we can't play music? No, I just don't like you. Ugh. One hour later. Hey, could you untie me, please? Why? Because if I call Pizza Hut within the next seven minutes, I'll get two cheese pizzas for free. And from the looks of it, you don't have any food. I mean, there's not even crumbs on the ground for the rats to eat. Could we start a fire? It's getting so cold in here. I already tried to start Okay, well, you have bricks in your fireplace. Um, is that a problem? Bricks don't start fires. If you're smart enough to kidnap someone, surely you're smart enough to start a fire. Am I the first person that you've ever kidnapped? Uh, yeah. Yay! Oh my goodness! Uh, why are you happy? Because I'm finally someone's first choice! Do you have a bathroom or something that I could use? No, I don't. I really have to go number two. I have a box of Clorox wipes. Clorox wipes? I mean, I guess I'll have to work. Y'all, the house is on fire. Oh my goodness, wait, did you start the fire? Why do you think that I would start it? There's a whole bucket of gasoline and a pack of matches right well, next I to mean, you. Well, I mean, that's so, that's so funny. <laughs> it definitely wasn't me. <laughs> Wake up. No, let me be. The house is on fire. The house is on fire? Yes. But I don't want to get up. Come on, we have to go. No, my lasagna is still in the oven. The oven is on fire. Okay, well, that just means it'll take less time to cook. Come on, we have to go. I am not leaving without my lasagna. I think the house is on fire. Is it really? No, I thought it was flooding in here. What do we do? I don't know. Do I look like a fire truck? The firefighters are here. You have to jump. I am not jumping off of this building. It's the only way. Well, I guess just tell my family I love them because I am staying right here. Y'all think insurance will cover this, right? The whole neighborhood is on fire, so no. <laughs> oh, wow. Is everyone out of your house? No, my son is still in there using the bathroom. The house is literally on fire. I told him that, but he said it was an emergency. My house looks like a marshmallow that was dropped into the fire. I mean, is anyone around here a millionaire? Because I'm looking to get married. The volcano's erupting! Wait, really? Oh my goodness, someone get their phone out and take a picture of me. Are you really gonna take a picture in the middle of this? Uh, yeah, this is like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You said we were hiking up a mountain, not a whole volcano. I said we were sightseeing. Sightseeing? Thanks to you, this will be the last sight we'll ever live to see. It is so hot. Thank you. I was talking about the volcano. Oh. I know there's like a volcano erupting and everything, but have any of y'all seen the bathroom? Because I need to make a volcanic eruption myself. A few moments later. Can someone please help me? Because when I said I wanted to play The Floor is Lava, I didn't mean it literally. Excuse me, can we like sweep the lava off of the road? You can't sweep lava. Well, I need to get to work. Where do you work that's still open? Um, Walmart is open 24 hours a day. Why did we have to move next to a whole volcano? I didn't know it was going to erupt. That's like pouring a bottle of water on yourself and then saying, Oh, I didn't think I would get wet. I think the volcano erupted. How did you guess? Was it the fact that our driveway is now a river of lava? Would you like to say a few words? Oh, no, thank you. All right, well, let's get started. Actually, I would like to say a few things. I would like to say that this person that has passed away right here was a roach. They were a rat. And they were the biggest pain in my butt. Does anyone know how they passed away? Oh, um, their house caught on fire. Didn't you catch their house on fire? What? <laughs> Who told you? I know the funeral hasn't even started yet, but can we hurry this up because I want to get to the reception because I am very much starving. Why are you wearing yellow at a funeral? Because yellow is a happy color and I am so happy. I have been waiting for this for years. One eternity later. They were such a nice person. Oh my goodness, this funeral service has gone on for way too long. I mean, I have things to do and I promise you their life was not this important. That casket looks absolutely hideous. I mean, I guess it matches what's inside. 
What should we do with the ashes after they get cremated? Oh, um, I was thinking we could pour them, um, in the trash can where they belong. Hey. Hey, so I noticed you weren't at the funeral today. Oh, of course I was there. I was not about to waste my time on that.